I'm at the Democratic Watch Party here at One Oak Field in downtown Tulsa, and I'm currently joined by Amanda Swope, the chair of the Tulsa Democratic Party. Um, so for you guys, not good news. Uh, President Trump already um, predicted to win Oklahoma, but how are you feeling about races in other states? Well, I know that we already don't have Donald or er, President or um, Abby Broyles seat, but we are still looking at Kojo Osamoa Caesar for uh, a House representative for the United States level. So we're still looking at that one. Not all precincts have reported. Um, I'm personally a little bit of a local politics nerd, so it's kind of interesting to see how some of the city council races are shaking out right now. And we do still have some state senate seats that we're keeping our eye on for the rest of the night too. So. And it's um, you know Oklahoma is a historically red state. You know what do you think it's going to take for a local Democrat to win one of those races? You know, I really do, in my mind, think that it's about kind of chipping away at the process in the way that we kind of typically have done, uh, whether that's kind of starting at local levels or uh, state levels and working our way up. Um, also working on ballot initiatives and things like that. Uh, I really hold on to the hope that Oklahoma wasn't always this red. That's actually been, I mean not a super not recent rest, um, episode of it being you know completely read the way that it is now so i hold out hope that it will change we're getting lots of more young people in this state particularly in the uh, city of tulsa so i probably have a little bit different experience as far as how progressive we are as a state but i think that that will kind of slowly start to change over time and those young voters bringing in a lot more votes how do you think the um, increase in voters is going to affect upcoming elections um, I think it's apparent. I mean, a lot of studies have already shown that the more young people show up to vote, the more democratic uh, things tend to go. And so I'm very hopeful about that. As we're kind of seeing, even though uh, Trump has kind of already called Oklahoma, there's a number of other states where it's really neck and neck. And I think that young voters are going to be the people that uh, kind of decide that for us. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We are going to be staying here throughout the night, monitoring things as the night goes on. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Mike.